I'm Peter Thornton and I'll be walking the route along with you. Aerial photography with Mark Sykes will provide you with a fantastic picturesque view of many of the villages of Calderdale. Our journey begins here in Portsmouth, near Todmorden, on the western edge of Calderdale. Let's take a look at the village. Though it was historically part of Lancashire, the main boundary changes in the area have resulted in the village now being part of Calderdale. Farming and cottage handloom weaving had been the industry of the area in the early days before the railway arrived in the valley and a railway station was opened in 1849, closing in 1958. Several cotton mills were built in Portsmouth to use the cotton brought by the railways and the population expanded hugely. Sitting on top of Studley Pike, a 1,300 feet high hill, the monument was designed in 1854 by local architect James Green and completed in 1856 at the end of the Crimean War. The monument replaced an earlier structure commemorating the defeat of Napoleon and the surrender of Paris. It was completed in 1815, after the Battle of Waterloo, but collapsed in 1854 after decades of weathering and a lightning strike. From this elevated position with its fantastic views over the valley, we now head for Heptonstall, high above Hebden Bridge. Set on top of the hill, hundreds of feet above Hebden Bridge, Heptonstall is one of the most historic villages in Yorkshire, beguiling the visitor with its quiet charm. Approaching Booth Town from Halifax, our first interesting building is All Souls Church, which dominates the lower village. Standing in a prominent position, set into a hillside, its steeply sloping site gives the church a commanding position overlooking the town. It was commissioned and paid for by the local mill owner Edward Aykroyd in 1856. Aykroyd appointed Sir George Gilbert Scott as the architect and it was completed in 1859. It has a 72 metre high spire which was the second tallest in Yorkshire when it was built. South Aurum Bank is a steep sided road rising from the eastern gate of Halifax leading to the hilltop village of South Aurum. The views from this position looking over Halifax are superb.
Crossing the Shibdin Valley, with its hall and grounds below, which have been famous in the Gentleman Jack series on TV, we now head for North Aurum. The old, narrow, medieval route from Halifax, which winds up the hillside to North Aurum, is known as the Hoff, and this partly cobbled road leads us to the village. Towngate is the oldest part of the village, situated on the old road to Bratford. The small hamlet of Stone Chair is our next point of call, lying between North Aurum and Shelf. It is named possibly from a structure found by the old Turnpike Road. The original Stone Chair was erected in 1737, but the present structure, a Great Two listed monument, dates from 1891. It was used as a resting place for people waiting for stagecoaches, like this. Well, that's it. We've travelled around Calderdale looking at some of its villages, and maybe we'll look at some more next year. So until our pathways meet again, goodbye. <laughs>